The race for governor puts Oklahoma in the national spotlight. The state's first female governor will be elected in November. On the Republican side of the primary, Congresswoman Mary Fallon came out on top last night. Less than 1,500 votes separated Jerry Askins and Attorney General Drew Edmondson, with Askins now holding the Democratic nomination. Two News anchor Dina Silk joins us live. Now, Dina, two women in the race for governor. This is rare. Yeah, Karen, it's very rare. In fact, according to some reports, it's only happened three times in U.S. history and never in Oklahoma. It's definitely uncharted territory both women are ready to explore. It's Republican Mary Fallon. Nobody will work harder for you. Up against Democrat Jerry Askins. And with your help, we can do that beginning now. <laughs> Two women campaigning for your vote, hoping to be the next governor of Oklahoma, and by doing so, making history. It's a big time and big, big thing for the state of Oklahoma to say, hey, we're going to put a female in this office, and we, we trust the female to, to, to run the state of Oklahoma. A female governor will be the first for the state, something both ladies have recently discussed. One thing that uh, Lieutenant Governor Askins and I were joking about today is when, you, when you're a woman and on the campaign trail, sometimes you take some hits for just being a woman. At least now we don't have to worry about that. Both agree, though, the race is not about gender. I am not running to be the first woman governor of Oklahoma. I am running to be the next governor of Oklahoma. We're going to continue to focus on our campaign plan, and that's talking about jobs and the economy and working towards uh, you know, improving education. After a late election night, both women hit the campaign trail Tuesday. Askins speaking with our NBC affiliate in Oklahoma City. It will be a tough race. and It will continue to be, in, in my opinion, about Oklahoma. I've always been about Oklahoma first. And Fallon at a chamber luncheon in Tulsa. I am confident that we will rise above these challenging times as a city and as a state. Both ready to lead this state as the first female governor. People want that. And they, want, they want to see something different government and the way governments run. And both women have four months to campaign with the general election in November. We're live near downtown Tulsa. Dina Silk, 2 News works for you.